Hello you beautiful light workers, how are you? Today I'm going to share a little tool with you. Don't be rude. I'm going to share a little tool with you. I'm going to share something with you which some of you might know but some of you might not. I put it on my, my earlier channel but it hasn't been on this channel and it's a little technique that helps you to balance your energies and it is absolutely wonderful. This technique you can use for phobias, for fears, for any kind of emotion that is out of balance. Okay, so I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So this technique is called the emotional freedom technique. It was taken by a man called Gary and Gary worked with a man who invented TFT, which is Thought Field Therapy. And TF, TFT was really good, but it was really, really complex. And they had the, all of these kind of algorithms for, for every, every problem had a different thing that you had to do. It was very complex. But Gary, I don't know, I can't remember his second name. Gary, what, he was working with a guy and he noticed that when he got it wrong, like these are super algorithms, you know, this order that you had to do, if you would get it wrong, um, it wouldn't make any difference. The, the patient would still get better. It would, you know, the patient would still feel better. And he kind of noticed that actually maybe, maybe all of these algorithms weren't necessary and we could just do one thing, just do the lot. So that's when EFT was born. And he very kindly, it's one of the few that has done this, he released it freely. Like, you didn't need to pay. You could do the, the, the training free and, and well done him. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do and then I want you to do it with me. We're just gonna do something really quickly, okay? But then once you've got it, you can then use it as often as you can as often as you can. I'm telling you, I I have seen miracles happen with EFT, with my clients. I had a lady who had a phobia for spiders, so strong that she would faint. She had a spider in her bedroom, she fainted, she fell over, knocked a candle over, and nearly burnt the house down. Her mum asked me for help, and I wasn't even a, 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 like a, officially doing therapy. I just learned EFT. And I said, EFT might fix it, okay? The girl was absolutely angry that her mum made her sit with me. And then I started doing EFT and she was even more angry, like looking at me as if to say, are you off your effing rocker? And yet, we did it, we did two rounds. And I said, see if you can find that old fear. And she, she went, it's gone. Now this was, a, this was a phobia that she had all of her life. That was extreme, that made her faint. And EFT took it away, okay? So, and if you look online, you'll see all kinds of miracles happening with EFT. So there you are, I've sold it enough. Now I'm gonna show you how it works. EFT starts by doing a setup, okay? The setup is this, you have your hand like this, and you start hitting the karate chop point of your hand like this. Before we start, I'm going to ask you to think about a feeling and maybe a negative feeling that you have, one that kind of stays with you a lot, and just get that feeling and get in touch with it. Notice where you feel it in your body. Yeah? Notice how it feels in your body. It's a very familiar feeling because it's a feeling that we carry with us a lot. All right? I mean, anxiety or sadness or stress or, or, or depression or whatever. It doesn't matter. Worry. Okay, and off we go. And what we do is we're gonna hit like this, okay? And you're gonna say, even though I have this, give it a name, worry, sadness, depression, yeah? Even though I have this, I'm gonna use, let's have a, let's have a thing. I've got, uh, what have I got a feeling of? Um, disappointment, all right, in the world. <laughs> with the people of the world, I'm disappointed with them, I am disappointed okay so this I'm gonna work on that okay you choose your emotion even though I feel disappointed just repeat this with me even though I feel disappointed I'm okay even though I feel disappointed 
I'm a good person. Even though I feel disappointed, I'm all that I need to be. Right now. Okay, that's it. That's your setup. So, just remember, you know, even though I'm okay, I'm a good person, I'm all I need to be. That's what you say. Do you know some, some of my clients can't say I'm a good person? Well, what about that? They need to do more of this then, don't they? All right, so then you're gonna take your two fingers like this, and I'm gonna show you the places you're gonna hit. Top of the head, right on the crown chakra, yeah? Then you're gonna come down, you're gonna go in between the eyes like this. You're gonna be on the side of the eye where the bone is, not in the eye, where the bone is. Under the eye, where the bone is, not in the eye. Bom, bom, bom. Under the nose, just above the lip. Yeah. Then on the chin. Yeah. And then you're going to follow your, um, your collarbones down to where the knobbly bits are at the bottom. And with both hands, you're just going to hit them. Bom, 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 bom. That feels really weird, that one. Okay. And then you're going to finish by banging your wrists together like this. Now we're going to do this together. I'm going to show you what to do. Don't worry if you got the order right. Don't worry if you missed one out. It doesn't matter. You're covering all the bases with this, okay? Some people just do one thing, but I want you to do it all with me, okay? So let's start, and this is how you do it. You don't need to do anything special except tapping. Listen to the tapping. I'm going to put this next to the ear. Listen to how hard you do it. Can you hear it? So you're not going to break this, the bones of your head, but you also you're going to feel it. It's, you know, you've got to feel it. You're tapping it. Okay, so off we go. So we've done the setup. Yeah, I'm a good person. I'm okay. And all you do is you tap top of the head and say, I'm disappointed. Middle, in between the eyes. I feel disappointed. Side of the eye. I feel really disappointed in people. Under the eye. I feel disappointed. Under the nose, I really feel disappointed. Chin, I feel very disappointed. Collarbones, I feel disappointed. Wrists, I feel disappointed. That's one round, okay? That's one round. Now, you do that again. You're gonna do three rounds, okay? And I'm gonna show you what to do on the last round. So, second round. I feel disappointed. Between the eyes, I feel disappointed. Side of the eye, I really feel disappointed. Under the eye, I feel so disappointed. Top of the lip, I feel disappointed. Chin, I feel disappointed. Collarbones, I feel disappointed. Wrists, I feel disappointed. Now, that's two rounds of talking about how disappointed you feel. Right? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the last round. And the, on the last round, I want you to change what you're saying. And I want you to use what's called a reframe. It's just like, all right, you know, what have I got to say to get over this? What have I got to say to see the positive side of this? Yeah. What have I got to do to kind of convince myself that, hey, it's going to get sorted? Right, so I'll show you what I would do. I'm disappointed, but well, it's not my life. In between the eyes, the only person that I can help is me, really, side of the eye. And I know that at some point they're going to wake up. I know that, under the eye. And in between times, I've just got to keep myself strong under the nose and just get on with my life because that's the one that I can control. I can't control anybody else's chin. So this is just something I can let go. I just let it go. Collarbone, I release this and let it go. Wrists, I release it and I let it go. Okay, so that's the third round. So you see what I'm doing to myself? I'm kind of giving myself a pep talk on the last round. Bit of a pep talk. Oh, come on. That's them. You sort yourself out. There's nothing that you need to do. There's nothing you can do. Just you take care of yourself. You see what? It's like a pep talk. It's like you would give it to a good friend. Yeah. Then at the end, 
you're going to do this. Form a triangle with your finger and your thumb. You put your finger in between the eyes, put your thumb on your chin like this, and then close your eyes and just massage. You're just going to massage those two spots and just continue with the pep talk. I'm all right. I'm okay. They, that's their life. That's their business. They've got to sort themselves out. I'm absolutely okay. And at least I'm on the right track. And if I woke up, then everybody else can wake up. If I can do it, everyone can do it. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. I'm fine. It's just time to get on with life now. Okay? And then we take a nice deep breath. And then you think. You look, get in touch with that feeling and say, well, what's that feeling doing now? How is it? That old feeling. Is it there? Is it different? Has it changed? So let me have a let me get in touch with my old feeling. I I don't feel it. I can't feel it. Right? This is what happens with EFT. I can't get in touch with it because I know that it's not my business. That's their stuff. Right? And I've just talked myself into that. But EFT, what it does, it balances you. It balances your emotion. Right? Your energies. We get out of whack, we get unbalanced, and it's kind of like EFT puts it all in line again. Okay? So you can use this with anything. If you suffer severe negative emotion on a frequent basis, then my suggestion is that you do this in the morning before you start your day. You know, how do I feel about this day? Do this. And then when you finish the day, and maybe if you're reviewing any, you know, the feelings that you have from the day. I promise you that if you do this, and if you did this for uh, like two weeks, just running through your emotions, you would be absolutely in a different place by two weeks time, two weeks time. You would be in a very different place. You would be, you would be like the Buddha. Yeah, you'd be in, in Zen world, right? If you do this, just before you go to bed, you will notice that you will sleep fantastically well. This EFT cures insomnia. Women who are going through that difficult period, you know, the menopause period where they, where they have uh, hot flushes and they, and they wake up and they struggle to get to sleep, EFT can help a massive amount. If you wake up and you can't get to sleep, you just do a three rounds of EFT you know I can't get to sleep I can't get to sleep and the last round is hey come on you can do this you just need to relax that's all yeah and you'll go to sleep I promise you I've, I've helped loads of people with insomnia with EFT so that's EFT for you it is the most beautiful it's a gift from God that's what I believe and it's a free gift anybody can use it so please, and there's such a lot you can do with EFT in a therapeutic session, you know, environment as well. I use it for a lot of things, especially with trauma. I'm actually going to be doing a course on that, showing people how to use EFT with trauma. Okay, there's a nice, beautiful system. Anyway, there you are. I hope that's valuable, and I will see you soon. Have a lovely weekend. Bye bye.